I could not believe the cast they got for this movie when I saw the trailer. Bruce Willis, William Shatner, Steve Carell, Gary Shanley, Wanda Sykes, Catherine O'Hara, Thomas Hayden Church. These people are all comedy gold. So naturally, I got really, really excited to see the film, and yeah, it kind of sucked. It had a few jokes that worked and a couple likable characters, but yeah, this was really kind of bad. What's the story? A raccoon, played by Bruce Willis, accidentally destroys all the food that was belonging to a bear, played by Nick Nolte. The raccoon swears he can get all the food back for his hibernation in exchange for his life. The bear agrees, and the raccoon comes across a group of wild animals who have just discovered a hedge. And over the hedge, suburbia. The raccoon informs them that suburbia is full of food. All sorts of food practically gift-wrapped for them. So the animals agree to go and collect as much food as possible, unaware that the raccoon is actually saving them for himself. That is to say, the bear. Not only do we have to go through the liar revealed story again, which as you know, I really despise, but I'll give you an example about why a lot of these jokes don't work. Take for example when the raccoon is first introducing them to opening up chips. Okay, here's why this joke doesn't work. First of all, they use it again. Now there, it works, because that's something negative happening to them, and it's so large that when you back off and show the planet and show the impact it's having, it's showing how much misery it's spreading. That's why that joke works. But if you're just opening a cheese snack, and if anything, it's just supposed to be something good, why would showing it from Earth matter? There's no misery involved, so there's not really any point in emphasizing it. At least not to that degree. And so much of the rest of the story is just building up character traits that are just gonna come into the story later and well, not really make us laugh. They're just playing into the story. The story we already know because you set it up in the beginning and we know exactly what's gonna happen. None of the celebrities really lend much to the characters. I don't know if they weren't allowed to or maybe it wasn't a good script or I don't know, but their talents surprisingly don't bring anything. William Shatner is a possum who has to pretend to die all the time. I guess when you think about it, that could be pretty funny because we know what a hammy actor he is, but if it's animated and we're not really seeing Shatner, yeah, you kind of realize why this joke wouldn't work. Wanda Sykes is a skunk who has to be made to look pretty later on. Again, if you're not seeing Wanda Sykes, that doesn't really work either. I think the only one that really comes through is Steve Carell as the squirrel. This really super crazy hyper squirrel. But even he doesn't get as many laughs as the script should allow. It's aggravating because this is so much funny people and yet so few funny moments. Apart from the occasional joke that gets a giggle, the only time where it actually really starts to pay off is the ending. And it's a good setup. Once the liar's revealed, he tries to redeem himself by saving the day. The animals don't know this and so they're constantly trying to throw him outside of the car where the bad guy is. Thank you, yes, yes! Let me in! Let me in! No! Ring-tailed charlatan! And this leads to some pretty funny physical humor. But aside from that, it's a snorefest and a real disappointment. This is good animation too. It's bright, it's colorful, you'd think it might be able to get a little commentary in there. I mean, it was starting to with the food stuff. Or even lines like this. No, I can talk. I'm just driving. This could have been like a great satire of suburbia or a great animal point of view sort of film, but it's just dull, predictable, and like I said before, not that funny. All of these celebrities will go on to even bigger and funnier stuff, but I can tell you right now, this would definitely not be in that lineup. 